Not used to this lock malarkey, are we? Easy, it's like riding a bike. <laughs> on my back. <laughs> well, here we are in Lincoln. This is our last weekend on the Fosdyke and Witham navigations. And it's blooming cold, Fran. <laughs> so, um, beautiful view of the cathedral coming in on the River Witham. Now we're back on the Fosdyke Canal navigation. We're going through the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous city of Lincoln and uh, going through the glory hole. We're actually going to stop in Don't Lincoln Google it. for about... <laughs> Don't talk about glory holes. Uh, we're actually going to stop in Lincoln for three nights and we've booked in to a marina. I know, who knew? <laughs> Us in a marina. Only because on the way through the um, moorings here are really close to the road and close to the uh, railings. We want to have a look around town without the dogs. Um, and we can't leave them safely there. We're not happy with it. So we've booked into the marina, so we've got a little bit of freedom yeah. and top the batteries up and such like. Um, but we're so looking forward. We're, we've got a little bit tired of the river at times but and wanted to be out in the countryside, but we're now really ready to do Lincoln justice, really. A yeah, few yeah. days here, a, few, a, a proper sightseeing. And um, yeah, it's going to be good, Looking forward to it. It's been it? years and years and years yeah. since I went to uh, Lincoln. And I've never been. And this is one of the beauties about our lifestyle now is that we get to go to places that we've never ever been to. And people come to Lincoln just for a day, for a day, and try and pack it all in. We've got three, four days here. So that's fab. Great. I always say everything's fab, don't I? F-A-B. <laughs> did you talk about the dogs being safe on the boat? I did. When we're recording and I'm talking, Rich sometimes switches switch off, off because he's thinking about other things. But yes, I did the dogs. <laughs> Excellent. Right, that's it then. Glory hole, here we come. Ooh. Run this pub, the witch and the wardrobe, and a pile of pigeons. That looks like a candidate for a lunchtime drink, Fran. I think so. <laughs> I think everywhere does. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Retail hell. I don't think we'll be frequenting a riverside shopping centre, do you? No, we will not. Well, I won't be. I know you like a bit of retail therapy sometimes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So here we go through the glory hole, friend. Looks mm. magnificent this side, but I think the view from the other side is even better. It's fab, is it? When we came through, we didn't really appreciate this. We were so busy trying to find somewhere to moor that I don't really think we looked around properly, did we? we? No, and it's just too just concentrating wonderful. on worrying where we're going to pull in. We just did not fancy it at the time. It was so hot, wasn't it? We just did yeah. not want to moor up against these brick buildings and the concrete walls. It was. Uh, too much. But anyway, we're enjoying there it we now. Go. Uh, we're really lucky in so much that the water levels are really low. Uh, some boats can't get through here because of the high water. But uh, yeah, we managed it. Yards to spare. Look at that, that's amazing. And the buildings above the bridge. <laughs> Beautiful, Fran. It is, yeah. There's nothing to say. I'm concentrating on where we're going because I think <laughs> <laughs> I've got bendy bits and there might be boats and coming parking. ahead of me. <laughs> and I've got parking to do, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the sun's decided to come out for us this afternoon. Where are you going? Well, there's the marina where we're staying, Fran, opposite Wagamama's, and uh, it's Pontoon B5. Yep, that was my form, my last tutor group at school. B5? 5B. <laughs> I thought he was going to say Wagamama. The Wagamamas, no. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is hell. Costa, Zizis, Wagamamas, every other rotten fast food chain you could think of. <laughs> now, the Royal William. Now, that's a different kettle of fish. <laughs> oh, we could go to the pictures. I think we might treat this as a holiday for a few days. Yeah, why not? Know? because we're never on holiday, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you'll have to excuse me if I look a bit blurry eyed. It's uh, silly o'clock, it being just after six in the morning. I'm a bit wheezy as well because I've just walked up Steep Hill and it's called Steep Hill for a reason to get to here where Lincoln Cathedral is. And I wanted to show you the walk through this arch and the view that you get once you get to the other side. It is amazing. 
it is, it's just no words to describe it really. As my brother would say, it's immense. So I wanted to do it when uh, there weren't any crowds around. There's just a few stragglers from the night before, dustmen and the odd dog walker. So come and have a look. Isn't that incredible? I think it's one of the most spectacular cathedrals I've ever seen. Absolutely stunning. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's just immense detail, it's just incredible. How many superlatives could I come up with? <laughs> anyway, we will be going inside tomorrow. Uh, Franz booked tickets for a flower festival that's going on in there with some music attached. I don't know what exactly it entails, but looking forward to seeing the inside now. Well, the world started to wake up now. Cars coming through, lots more people walking by. So I think I'll uh, cut loose and uh, go home and see if Fran's got out of bed yet. Put some toast and coffee on. Sounds like a plan. Looking promising. There's Francis on the front of the boat, soaking up the sun. Is that coffee pot on? Yay! Who knew she wouldn't let me down? Where's you been, friend? I've just yomped up steep hill and back to go to the country market. And um, we have mentioned country markets before. When I was at, well, when we were at land, I used to cook and. Rich used to do cut flowers and we used to sell them at country markets and they're all over the country. You just have to search for country markets and it's all homemade, home created stuff. So I've yomped up there this morning because today was their day that they were on. I'll show you what I've got. Um, homemade bakewell tarts. Uh, homemade bread, which used to be my speciality at the markets. Mm. We've got guests coming today, so I have got um, roasted vegetable tarts, homity pie. Oh, I love a homity pie. I've got two of each. 
so we've got lunch or tea sorted out and the granddaughter's coming today so i've got her a little handmade bag little <laughs> handbag and a little bird oh that's cute and a little bee handmade three pound oh bless and that was three pounds so i'm really pleased all of that all of that was 20 pound superb it's all for a good cause so have a look country markets and just wherever you are they're usually only once a month or twice a month if you're there on the right day they're definitely worth a look These are the preserved colours of the Lincoln Regiment. What do you think of Lincoln Cathedral then, Fran? I think it's stunning. It's amazing. It's massive. Every time you think you finish, you come across another room or area that's almost as big as the one you've just left. It and just goes chapel on here. and on. And these cloisters are gorgeous. So I'd like to come back when there's a, less people here <laughs> and it's been deflowered. <laughs> you can't say that. Um,